Want to learn how to pull off this cool intro technique in Filmora? Stick around. I'll show you how. This is actually a pretty easy effect to do because once you learn how to do it once, you can just repeat it throughout the course of your project. Now, this is some footage we filmed with Brian G. Johnson when we were out on Venice Beach. I thought it would be good for showing you how to do this particular effect. Now, all you need to do is take your footage and find a spot where you think it highlights the people that you want to call out. Here's a great shot of Nick Nimmin and Brian G. Johnson. All I'm going to do is take a snapshot of this. It now appears in the upper left under my project media. Now, where I took that snapshot, I want to slice that footage down in my timeline. I'll separate that footage and I'll bring the snapshot down into that spot. Now you can make this as long as you want. I'll just stretch it out to give you an idea of what I did here. And then we'll close that other piece on the other side. So to pull off this highlight effect, what you want to do is right click on that footage, choose crop and zoom, and then pan and zoom so that we can zoom in on the guys that we want to highlight. I'll click on that end screen and stretch it out so it frames them pretty well. That looks pretty good. Let's hit OK. So for right now, that whole piece of footage would be slowly zooming in on the two of them. But I want to do this a little bit differently. So let's count in a certain number of frames, maybe about 10 frames or so, and let's slice our footage. So now the first short section will zoom in quickly, but then the next section, because I split it right here, will start that zoom in again. We're going to correct that in a minute, but let's go to the end of this section and let's pick about another 10 frames or so in and slice it again. Now, every time I slice this footage, it's going to apply that same zoom in. So we have to change this out a bit. The last section, we actually want to zoom out. So let's right click on that, choose crop and zoom, and let's use the reverse arrows to swap the beginning and end screen. So now it will be zooming from this spot back out to full screen. Click OK, and that section is done. Now for this middle section, let's right click on that, Let's click crop and zoom, and we actually want it to hang on this end screen zoom. So the way to make that happen, we've talked about this before, is to swap the start and end areas, and then select crop, and it will keep this right here. Click OK, and then we've completed our effect. It zooms in, it hangs on them, and then it zooms back out and they start moving again. Now, if you have your auto ripple turned on, you can actually grab this spot where it hangs on the two of them, and you can adjust how long you want it to hang there simply by left clicking on the end and stretching it back and forth. That'll speed up that hang if you don't want it to be there quite as long. Now, if we want to change the color of these areas, let me show you a new feature that's available in Filmora 9.3. Let's click up on effects. Let's scroll down to the LUT feature and let's type in custom LUT. And you'll see there's a custom LUT window that we can now bring down right into our timeline and on top of our piece of footage. We'll stretch that out to fit. And now let's double left click on it and it allows us to put any LUT we'd like right here. I'm gonna actually load one of my custom LUTs that I created and gave away to the community, the vintage black and white. Now we've got them in black and white, we can click OK. And to add some text on top, let's click on titles. I'll use lower thirds and I'll choose the lower third one option and stack that right on top. Now, if I double left click on my text and I click advanced, I can do some modifications. So for this top one, let's enter in Nick's name and for his title, I'll put in the wise one. Let's click OK, and now I can actually adjust these even more down in my preview window by clicking on them and moving them wherever I'd like. I'll click the top one with Nick's name, and in the upper left, you'll see that I have options to change the font, as well as the font size. So then when you play this section, it'll get to this spot, it'll stop, the text will come in, it'll highlight our character, and then it'll move back out away. One thing I should show you in the Advanced tab 
you can control not only how the animation and motion starts on each of these sections, but how they leave as well by sliding in these arrows on either track. That's kind of cool, and that should do it. And there you go. Repeat this as many times as you'd like to highlight as many characters as you need, and then do things like add music and different LUTs and coloring to really make your footage pop. If you want to learn more Filmora tips, tricks, and techniques, check out this video here on screen and the ones I'll post down below. Peace.